Hey, what's up guys? It is uh, Fright Side Halloween back here again. And sitting here in front of me is a Boris Karloff Frankenstein. Um, yep, he's, he's, he's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, his, um, if you're facing the same way he hit, he is, his left arm does not work. Well, it does, it rises up about you know, two inches, but his, um, his right arm uh, it rises all the way up, so, or about 95% of the way. It doesn't go straight vertically out. I don't, you know, he's he's old. He is pretty much brand new um, from the story I heard from him, what the guy told me. But um, he is a super, super cool prop. So uh, we will get into detail. All right, so this is his face close up. And he does have a soft latex head with a plastic, uh, under a uh, really thick plastic underneath. But uh, my tripod is at full height, and he is still still a little too tall. So <laughs> you go small, medium, large. But yeah, this would be perfect height for Hannibal. But so um, he is, I believe I measured him. He is six foot seven or six foot eight one of those so he is he is pretty tall he's a large character just his shoulder width alone is it's huge so um as you can see let me zoom in a little bit here it's just you know it's a little green you got the the nice darken darkening right there where his eyebrows are you got the slit in the head right there with what looks to be sharpie lines but they're supposed to be stitches it looks like sharpie but you know it's probably from 2011 so and then you got the bolts that do light up coming out of the side of his neck and uh, if I could turn his head here looks like so you can see the bolts a little bit better you can see his ear yes the top of his head is like concaved inward a little bit and then his hair let me turn it back and there is the other bolt on the other side of the head you can see some shadowing around it if you guys can see that but super detailed in my opinion I love this head and uh, we'll get on to the suit now so this one does have an issue. Let me back up real quick. This one does have an issue. I'm pretty sure they most most of them do have this, but as you can see, right right here, this is all faded, but the other side's fine. But underneath of it, it's not faded. So, yep, it's just it's only that side that does it. I'm not sure why that pocket right there is fake on his jacket right there. Um, you got two buttons. The rest of the pockets are fake as well. Um, it's a super heavy duty jacket, so it's really thick. And then you got your, his undershirt, which is really soft, really like durable, not durable, but thick, soft, like nice material, if I say. So, but um, you can pull up the black around his neck I just made it worse but it's fine now it's a little bit better but um, yep he has a black undershirt and I'm pretty sure on the back side he has velcro going down the back so you can't take the jacket off but uh and then down to his pants ain't much ain't much to look at they're just black pants I guess oh we'll move down to the base now so this is his base um, as Halloween Haunter, which he is the man that owns Frank and Hannibal. Them are not mine. I'm um, just I found them to him. I'm shipping them out to him. But uh, you can see the little holes in the base right there, there, and there's some more on the back. But he informed me those are for uh, like a stand to stabilize him because he is so tall and he is so heavy. But that's what that's for. I mean, on the back, takes 9 volt 2 amp DC adapter. Um, you got the bat, the button 
right there. You can see it in between his legs, kind of. <laughs> There's a boo box, or a pick a boo box right there, but um, you push that to collapse some more. You can just push down on his shoulders, but um, his shoes, they're the, they're the typical shoes. They're about the same as Mike's there, except the sole of the shoe is bigger. Then uh, you got your purple button, just like all of them do, but um, yep, he's just, the only difference about the base is that he pretty much just has bigger shoes, that's that's about it, and he has the holes so you can put the supports on there, but yeah, off to the side, you have your try me button, and uh, yeah, that's about it for the base, we will do the demo now, okay, so... I lied to you. We're not doing the demo yet. I completely forgot about the hands. So, just move over to them real quick. They're relatively big hands. Um, you see his veins there. They're they're hollow plastic. But uh, can't even see it. He's got some more detail going up the arm. You get the little scar there. Where it's been split open. You can see the stitch marks from where it's been you know, cut, so, I would show you his fingers, but you can't pull up his arms, the only way the arms will go up if he's on, because they're, they're super stiff, you feel like you're going to break something if you try pulling him up, but, you see his fingers there, Just, uh, his fingernails are black, but, uh, that's about it for the hands, now on to the demo. All right, and here is Frank's demo. As as you can hear, he has a split gear in that arm. Not sure about that arm. Oh yeah, that gear is getting worse and worse. Okay, so that is it for this review and demo. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all later.